hello my loves good morning to you guys so i am going to be taking you guys to spend a day with me the time now is like 6 42 when i checked before recording and guys today um being sunday i haven't found a church i'll be going to yet can you imagine <laughs> oh forgive me <laughs> but i don't know if i'm not going to church this morning then i will be having my own service in the house yeah so probably watch a video like i have some church channels that i watch let me leave the way so i have some church channels that i watch so i might be having my own service in the house this morning but first of all i'm going to the market this morning because i need to get some stuff ah i need to get some stuff you guys let's go to the market and one thing that i want you guys to know eh? I had I've noticed sometimes in the market here yeah, because you cannot film alone you have to go with somebody you have to go with in short not just one person two people two friends two anything because it's not easy to film here yeah, oh, let me tell you is it that your phone that will be snatched away is it not snatch you yourself going away and your bag and your money everything also you have to be smart because even if they don't sn um, snatch you away and all of that, if you are not careful and you are dull, they will just be pushing you around. So, you have to be very, very smart. There are only few places, like, there are some places that you cannot film, like a video, like the market, some crowded places, like, I don't even know how to explain to you guys, but I hope you get the gist. So I might not be really like filming, filming in the market. You should, that's why I'm even going early this morning. I should have gone since yesterday night. But if I know up to like 2-3, I can't even film night, night market vlogging in Kenya. But anyways, let's go to the market. Guys, I am finally home. Yeah, and I'm sorry that I could not film in the market because, because I was so nervous and shaky to film. Even I crossed my bag. <laughs> you need to see how I look like in the market. Because when I went deeper inside the market, there were a lot of people, a lot of guys with like strong, strong face. They're like, yes, babe, what's up? Do and they and who is doing babe sexy? <laughs> you guys, look at that, not that. I don't know what to call it but anyways i got some stuff and let me show you what i got okay first of all you guys can you see this bag i bought this for 100 naira this is 100 naira this is cement bag you guys you can see this is cement bag that they just like made to yeah, be able to use in the market i love this idea this is so nice so i've not seen this before by the way so i'm just seeing this for the first time and you can put anything and whatever inside so yeah i forgot to repair my slippers i forgot to repair it so i think it matter to repair it but i forgot so that's another time job what else did i get okay i got these onions for 200 naira let me open it and show you okay so this is 200 naira guys so i think onions here and in adoe kit is kind of like the same because it is quite expensive now and this is for 200 naira so let's say one big one like this not that big medium size three for 20 i was like no i bought this plantain let me show you i bought this one for 500 naira and the reason why they sold this one for 500 naira according to them is because it's already like overripe you guys can see it's already very very ripe so they say that this is 500 like this four okay so let's see what i got again i got oh this is egg so the style doing something they used to be in adult kitty too uh, i have to be careful with this egg I'm 
so this is the size okay so four of this is 400 that means one egg like this is 100 naira you guys 100 naira by the way see my hand you guys it's peeling off oh my god okay anyways so four of this is um 400 so i bought 800 naira one hey okay so i'll show you this after you guys i saw this um kimono yeah kimono kind of jacket and i love it so i'll open it and show you come in come into that guy okay so i bought maggie i bought uh okay this is for tomorrow christmas and um i don't know what's good for christmas so that's a lot rice or fried rice but i just bought this for tomorrow okay and you guys i need to tell you the story of this yam this yam you are looking at here okay i bought two let me put it down so this two yam these two yams you're looking at here is three thousand three thousand naira you guys can you see each is one five so she said that it was two thousand naira and i was like nope i am going to pay one five each and so i got it for one thousand five hundred naira each now the story behind this year i mean uh, the place i went to first i wish i had actually like shown that one or bought it to show you guys she said that the yam is um so you guys she said that the yam was uh, one thousand two hundred naira and it was not even up to this nothing it was even dry it's long like this but not like it does not have wood like maybe half of the yam in length half of the yam in length and it was dry i said that 1200 i was surprised it for 1000 era but she was like no one two she sold three small small ones for one man for two five and i bought these two big ones for three thousand like I, if she had accepted one thousand naira, which i wanted to buy before and i saw this one i would cry no i'll come and cry and come and meet you guys like what's going on with my head it was not worth it but when she did not accept for one thousand i just moved forward a little bit and i saw this you guys i was like wow if that woman that bought those three small small dried ones for two five if she saw this later i'm very sure that she, she will need that day and be crying with them no she will not cry but she'll be like she will regret wasting money so if you see something one well, lesson there is if you see something don't rush to buy it okay except if you know that it's very very scarce but if you see something and they sell the price or they sell the price like just go somewhere else because the woman that bought the, her own for two five she priced it she said she was going to buy the three for one five the woman that was saying was like like yes yeah, she's not going to sell it for one five that is two thousand one hundred near her last price 2001 i think she wanted to sell it for 3000 so she said she would sell it for 2-1 the woman that i wanted to buy was like okay 2000 naira and call she said i oh, know 2100 last 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 so the woman left and i was like oh, maybe let me go and buy it for that 2-1 then the woman came back i was like she has already bought it she just paid well she paid the woman said that no she's not selling for 2-1 again that she's going to sell it for 2-5 that she has calculated it very well i was like she said she was going to sell for two five again. I was like, <laughs> so she was like, ah, there's nothing wrong with the yam. Our daughter is cooking the yam at home, like at this moment, like this, like this, like this. So dry that I was even scared that if I cut it to the yam, you guys, I'll even see spoilt one inside because you can see it's not as fresh as this. It's not as fresh as this at all. That's how, as the woman just bought it and left, like even to pack itself was a struggle then i priced my own she was like 1200 naira last for the long one but that one was there's nothing good like there again some were already cut into small small like let me see this one has already cut into three it's not even up to this in length like half of this in length but it has been cut that's point as oh gosh jesus seriously that man was supposed to take those yams and go and cook it Cook it and we'll probably sell it or something. I don't know. But anyways, now that's all I got. Okay, so I want to cook yam for breakfast this morning because I'll take this morning before to go and buy food. But I was like, if I go and buy food of three thousand naira, this three yam I bought now. If I want to eat it today and tomorrow, now I can eat it for today and tomorrow. 
So instead of me to, you know, guys, it's for today and tomorrow. So instead of me to go and waste that three thousand and going to buy food today, I decided to buy yam, this gas to cook and heat. And I don't know, I don't know, it's coming over later. Whoever coming over later, we eat yam. No extra expenses. Thank you. Let's go and cook. <laughs> okay guys so for the jacket let me quickly show you that i bought this for one thousand era yeah they said one five but i was like 800 but she was like no it is this it is that i was like okay fine so i bought it for one thousand era i actually need jeans but i did not see jeans on my size i'll actually go to the market where they actually sell jeans but look at this guys this is not doing justice maybe i'll wait outside for you guys to see so this is it guys and put it on what no my size oh god It's actually not my size, like tight on the hand. Wow. Hey, I wish it was my size. I didn't even check it, it was medium. Yes, ma'am. Eh? What? Show him a tagline. What do you know? What do you know? Tell him a tagline. 
Looking like Christmas, guys. The dog is train firework in the asses early this evening. Just this, this morning, let me see. Evening to you guys. Tonight, I don't really feel like taking. Ah, this is not what I wanted. Oh wow, they've brought the lights, guys. But my love, so for tonight, I just want to take tea. Yeah, and well, I think Nepal has decided to do Christmas for us because they've been bringing the lights, like they've, not since morning, but they've been bringing the lights since I think this afternoon. Come here, yeah, this afternoon. But yeah, I'm taking tea. If you cannot see, but let me go inside. For dinner, I just want to take tea, guys, and then go to bed. I'm not going anywhere for Christmas Eve. Before I go out this tomorrow, Christmas, I'll go and visit three of my friends. I don't know if two of them or just one. Yeah, so. All right, my loves. Good night. See you tomorrow. Love you. Bye. It's freaking hot. Very hot. <laughs>